excuse the mess of the house a little bit. I don't know if you can see too much of it. Because the lighting is a little bit off and all kinds of things. And I got to hold this by hand because I broke the holder on my tripod to hold the telephone. And to make a long story short, it got broken transportation when I went to the wedding. It broke a little hole off the top, so I can't hold the phone anymore. It's steady. So we got one on order. Yeah, they're not much. Maybe $4. Four U.S. dollars. Not much at all. And I'm going to try to buy a light for it also. A ring light so you get a little better light on my face and don't be so shiny. I would make any difference or not, but it's not much money. Ten bucks. I run order now from Lazada. I don't think I heard of Lazada United States or not, but it's a similar thing to Amazon.com or eBay in the Philippines. Um, we're doing well. We had a, we had a typhoon go through this area today. Basically, it's about 50 miles or 60 miles south of us, as near as I can figure out. And it has passed already because it's about 6.30 at night right now, maybe 7. And it says we'll be out here by 8. This is what the weatherman tells me. And uh, it did rain. No real heavy wind. Had a little wind. Of course, we're not too close to the shore. No, to the, to the, to the seashore. And I don't know if anybody hurt by rising water or if they moved anybody out or not. I have no idea. And we had a little bit of a problem down to the... Oh... What do you call it? To get my visa. It's straightened out now, but it took us a couple of days down to immigration. You know, and it's just... If you're, if you're in the Philippines, you understand this. The reason being, one clerk doesn't know what the other clerk's doing. Kind of like the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. They know their job. They, go, they, they push you through about six or seven different windows. And everybody fills out a section of the, of the application, shall we say, or approves it. And they put a stamp on it, a date on it, and all that kind of stuff. And you got and every every one you go to, most windows you go to, you got to pay a little bit of money. And to make a long story short, thank God, uh, when my social security check came in, I had some extra money. Uh, it's going to cost a total of about, oh, I don't know, it's right up there. A lot more expensive than people told than I heard. You know, it is roughly three hundred dollars and not like the ten to twenty dollar mark and that's good for one full of the year and no more trips to uh, no trips to uh, the immigration office for at least till next December once we get through I gotta go back down again I got another appointment this is for the actual what do you what would you call it the immigration officer, the officer to speak to the officer and tell them why you want to do this. And they take your fingerprints and all that stuff. Well, they already taken my fingerprints once at the uh, National Bureau of Investigation, which is nothing more than the FBI. Well, I guess they don't like those. You know? Um, they fingerprinted twice here in less than a month. Or there about six weeks. So, that's my story about immigration. I'm grateful that we had the cash. I'm grateful we had the time. And, uh, None of it went smoothly at the, at, at, at the immigration office. They always sent you to the, our experience this time, they sent you to the wrong desk every time. They had the wrong paperwork every time. They said, no, you need this paper, not this paper, and stuff like that. They even gave me back the wrong passport. I went to go get my passport. Yes, it was blue in color, but it was a Canadian one. And we went back down there, and the guy had ours, and he had a Canadian guy there waiting for his. Oh well, <laughs> you know, and it's just, it's just, that's just been my experience in the Philippines. Every government office I go to, it's been like this. And if anybody lives in the Philippines, they may understand this. But it's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know it's inefficiency or whatever you have, call it. But this is what you're busy to deal with in the Philippines. Hey, see you all later. Hope to get out. Caught you up a little bit. Goodbye.